Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to be making cocoa from scratch. And you're going to need a few things to do it. You're going to need cocoa beans, something to weigh the cocoa beans, a tray for the oven to roast the cocoa beans, a grinder for grinding the cocoa beans, and a stone grinder for grinding them even smoother and finer. So I found that on this tray, weighing out about 200, 250 grams of beans is pretty much the maximum amount that I can get into my little grinder and fit onto my stone. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've weighed these out to about 250 grams. I'm gonna put them on the tray. And I've got my oven over here preheating to 400 degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the oven for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna turn the oven off and let them rest for another 10 minutes. All right, so we'll see you in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, I just took the cocoa beans out of the oven and they're hot. And I'm gonna put them into this tray, which is not hot because I want to take the shells off of them. So I'm gonna put them into this tray here, keep my hot tray over here. And because I'm just using a small amount of beans, I'm gonna shell them by hand, which is kind of like the same as shelling a peanut. So there is one that has been shelled. Take off the outer shell by just squeezing it with your fingers. And as you can see, because it's been roasted, the shell just crumbles right off. This also enables me to look at the bean and I can um, quality control the beans that I get and don't use crumbly soft ones that insects have eaten, like this one for example. So I just choose the best ones I want since I'm doing just such a small amount. Set them over here into this tray, after which I will grind them in this grinder. So, we'll see you in a minute after I finish shelling all these beans. Okay, so pour the coffee, the coffee, the cocoa into the grinder. Try not to lose too much on the floor and put the sugar directly into it as well. This is good uh, organic pure cane sugar, really brown and delicious. God, I can smell it from here, it's really good sugar. All right, so I'm gonna grind it now. Mm -hmm. See now, starting to slow down. Okay, now you see it, it started to slow down a bit. No more movement. So it started to solidify. At this point, you can see now it's starting to get its chocolatey oils. Right now it looks kind of like wet coffee grounds. So we want to carefully push this down inside. God, it smells good too. Mm. Scrape around the edges. And we'll do this a couple more times until it starts to, the oils really start to break down in the cocoa and then I will transfer it to the stone, which I have on the stove right now to warm. So the stone is warm when I do it. So I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Okay, so as you can see now, it looks sort of like uh, wet cookie dough. And you can see um, the, sh the shine on it there. That's the, the cacao uh, oils coming out. So it's starting to break down now. So at this point, I put it on the stone and the stone is warm. It's nice and warm. And I will continue to mill it by hand, grind it by hand, much in the same way you would do spices. And so as you can see, my 200 grams, it just about maxes out this stone. And 
and you just continue to do this until it starts to become fudgy and will start to resemble chocolate fudge and it's going to take a little bit of a, some time usually it takes me about I don't know for this amount about 20 minutes or so and so uh, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll show you the result okay now warm it in a minute okay so now you see we have taken it to a soft fudgy texture and at this point I'm gonna call it done and I'm gonna put it on the table here and table it and make my chocolate bars okay so I've transferred the chocolate to the counter here where I'm spreading it around with a spatula if you had added uh, cocoa butter to it it would become more creamy and it would be easier to to spread around mine's still quite thick and fudgy so I'm just going to knead it over onto itself a few times and then transfer it to a tray and press it down flat and make little chocolate bars what I like to do just to make my life easier is put a piece of plastic over the chocolate and roll it out thin over a cookie tray and then I will pull the the plastic off and put this in the refrigerator to cool and then I will have my chocolate bars from that so now I cut my little chocolate bar lines and this will make it easy for me to pop off little pieces to munch on whenever I feel like having some chocolate to eat and it's wonderful because now I have delicious organic fresh real no preservative added chocolate okay here's my chocolate it's still uh, covered in the plastic here you can see where I have uh, cut it before and those are going to be my little chocolate bars and as you can see here and uh, they're ready to enjoy which I most certainly will mmm and in the words in the words of the food ranger mmm mmm That chocolatey, mm. incredibly delicious chocolatey. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy your chocolate, guys.